There's a number of different versions of those CAR T cells. They have some a little bit of toxicity profile or, or some differences in terms of the construct itself. But basically the proof of principle is really amazing. The activity is in some studies in a relapse post allotransplant using the cells of the donor to make them also modified CAR T cells or using autologous T cells of the patient after an induction from chemotherapy in an aggressive lymphoma where you have a high chance of relapse would be an obvious thing or consolidation post transplant. So I think really this is going to be a very important tool in lymphoma because the advantage it's the ideal vaccine because it's a cell therapy that persists and fight against the recurrence of lymphoma. So one of the issues is obviously you, you deplete CD19 positive B cells which make antibodies so patients will need um, IV, IG, lifetime on a lifetime basis but remember those patients were in a very poor situation with refractory disease so as we move forward there hopefully some model will be modified and uh, so that we can control better the lifespan of those T cells but clearly this is going to change the landscape in lymphomas.